Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and now I'm going to wrap up the pro division of the Deep Sea Tournament 9 Hole Cup. So this is going to be holes 4 through 9 and let's just go ahead and hop right in. Hole number 4, you're going to play 15% at mid. Have a great opportunity for the rough bump hole win one here. You're going to see we're going to go with the Kingmaker just to reduce the wind. You can definitely take the shot with the Titan if you would like. Take a look at the spin adjustments here. We've got about 0.3 top and about the same on the right side spin. Here I'm using a slight offset to the right hand side of the hole, as you can see. And then I do pull this one 15% at mid. Uh, I do understand this is a very narrow rough bump, but it is the best opportunity for a hole in one. If you don't want to gamble with this little narrow strip here, you can definitely play the Goliath bounce over shot. Uh, but this one, like I said, you know, I just like it. It comes in really nice. And I just barely miss this one to the right-hand side. So I was a little bit too much of an offset there. You can move that one over just by a fraction to the left. And we have a really good chance to get that one in the hole on hole number four. That'll take us here to hole number five. We're going to go ahead and play this drive 10% at mid. You're going to see here that I'm using a katana ball. And we're going to go with max side spin to the right, combined with five bars of top spin. Um, I am playing this one at mid distance of my driver, so 10% at mid. And then you're going to see that I'm going to use a curl to the right hand side. And you'll notice how much curl I use. Just about, you know, a fourth of my ball is still in this circular adjustment window. This is what we're looking to do on this drive. That's going to get us into a really nice Hornet shot for shot number two. Keep in mind to pack the Hornet or the runner as you're going to need the top spin on this hole. Now, I'm going to show you a couple different things on shot number two. One is if you're good with the slider, when you get about this many yards that I did, like in that same range, you're going to be 80% slider. Or you can just play it one to one. It's essentially the uh, same thing so make sure that you put enough top spin to go through the hole if you're going to get hit with you know high six miles per hour you're going to need a little bit more top spin than i use here i put my yellow ring on the rough and then i use i think like three three and a half bars of top yep so about three and a half but again higher wind you're going to need a little bit more top spin okay i pulled this one 80 percent slider 10 percent uh, again, but this is 5.2 wind and you see that I pull right around 5.2 rings So you can play this one one-to-one -one if you want to uh, If you're not good with the slider and you should be in the hole or very darn close with the perfect ball like we get there All right, that's the drop on hole number five. We'll go to hole number six, which is pretty straightforward You can play this one with the kingmaker. You can play this one with a titan on one account, I played with the Titan. On the other account, on this account, I played with the Kingmaker. I went six top, two bars of side spin to the left, no matter what ball you use. And here I'm just making sure that I'm lined up down the middle of the fairway. Extra mile nine, you can play with more top spin if you would like. You can just reduce the overpower. For me, I went with quite a bit of OP, and I hit a slight grate to the right-hand side. Very lucky here that I get away with it. Now, the reason that I went with a Kingmaker in Tailwind, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of, is because shot number two, I really needed the side spin to the left to try to pick up this Albatross. And I got close with my Titan, but, you know, that Kingmaker gives you that one more sliver of side spin there. It's going to help out a little bit. Plus, shot number two is a little bit of a headwind angle, so this does help reduce the wind. You're going to see here, I'm playing uh, very close with my green inner ring on the rough line. I do go max side spin to the left combined with the back spin which you saw. And notice I use baby curl to the left hand side. I just moved it over a click of left hand curl. And we come pretty darn close to getting that one to fall in for a tough Alba. A shot's there, a little bit more curl. Um, you know, but I might set up a little bit more right hand side of the hole than I did too and use the curl to get it over because we do come close to clipping the rough on that shot. 
All right, here we're gonna go 25% at max with the navigator ball. We're gonna apply one bar of side spin to the right, and then here we're gonna use, you know, about 2.2, 2.3 bars of backspin. Yellow ring on the rough line offsetting right hand side of the hole, which you'll see. There we go. This one was unfortunately the highest win that I got. I was getting the wind in the low sixes and even high fives. And then of course I go in to take the shot for real outside of practice and I get hit with almost seven miles an hour. But still, I was using the same strategy with the same landing spot. And look at that, we come in and we just burn the right hand side of the cup. The speed is really nice. Speed is good. We need to just move this over by a fraction to the left and we should be close here on hole number seven. So you can see four, five, six, and seven, they're all droppable in these wind angles. So it's looking really good, and I hope you're able to pick those up. Hole number eight, okay, now hole number eight, I gotta give you a disclaimer. Uh, this one's a little bit funky, okay? There's a couple ways in which you can go. The most common way to go here is gonna be on the left-hand side. So we're gonna bounce over from the top of the fairway and play the left-hand side. Um, if you do that, you're, you're going to end up with a shot like this. All right. Um, here, you know, I'm playing this one 10% and I played it 20% slider. Uh, unfortunately I'm playing during my lunch break and I'm really capped at time. So I didn't have time to sit here now at this point and go through what that would be if you're not using a slider, but 10%. Uh, unfortunately here though I hit a great ball to the right but I just kind of want to show you what this shot looks like but again like I said great ball so that's not gonna be any good okay but here on this account I was trying to go bombs away which you're gonna see here with an APOC uh, APOC 6 you know extra mile 9 could get you there with a Titan lower level clubs you could use a Zerk I was trying to land on that middle fairway circular island, okay? That's what I was going for. Full top, one left. Here, my resting position is the, the full yellow ring in the rough, very close to the left of the yellow edge of the line touching the rough. Full OP with a little bit of curl to the left. Now here, I hit a great ball to the left. So, you know, I know I'm gonna be in trouble at that point. I'm glad I didn't get stuck in the sand. I got lucky and I rolled out. Um, I rolled out, I'll fast forward because this is my opponent. I didn't chop this up at all. See, he used a Zerk and he almost got there, but APOC 6 is pretty beefy. So I figured I could get there with a Titan. And I'm pretty sure I could have if I would have hit a perfect ball or maybe even a slight great right. Now here you're going to see I'm setting this shot up 10%. I'm checking my slider percentage. This isn't something that I really cover a lot in pro. Um, you never really hear me talk about a slider. I just try to do the math for everybody to give you a pretty general adjustment. But you can see here I'm going 76% slider, 10% elevation. Um, like for me, I've been playing the game a while. I'm pretty good at working out my slider on the fly. Uh, I do some things like pin checks or fringe checks to figure out where I'm at. And those aren't things I really ever talk about. It's something I would love to make a video on one day when I get time. But uh, here we hit a perfect ball. And you can see here, slider was good, elevation was good, and we're able to drop this thing in for an eagle. All right, that's hole number eight. And then hole number nine, you know, we're going to go the same way every time with this one for me. We're going to take that Zerk. We're going to go two bars of side spin to the right, combined with six top. Uh, extra level or extra mile level nine players like myself don't go full top uh, because we are going to go overpower. If you go full top with OP, you're for sure going to go flying into the sand <laughs> uh, way up here on the top of this fairway. Sometimes this shot works out better if you only do one bar of side spin to the right. For some reason, I accidentally just applied two. Wasn't thinking, was in a rush. You know, you can see here we kick way out to the right. Oh, that's nice if you're able to pull that drive off because it gives you a straight up the pin shot on hole number two or on shot number two, I'd just say. I played this one 10% at max. Hey, this is it. I'm going to see you all on Monday for the next tournament, the monster tournament. I hope that I did a good job for you in the nine hole cup for all the rookie and pro players. If you'd like to show me some appreciation and give me a tip like you would your favorite bartender or server, that would be awesome too. My link to my PayPal is in the comments section below. 
I want to thank anybody in advance who decides to do that. Um, also, thank you everybody for who watches my content. Please hit the thumbs up button. And like I said, I will catch you all on Monday. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night.